All right, gorgeous ones. I'm home. You see, I have no lighting on. I'm in natural light today. It's just me. And I'm going to do my shop, my shop, my stash, um, and my giveaway. So I'm posting these both right now. The reason why I'm doing the shop, my stash is because it has taken me forever. What is this doing right here? Pull it out. Okay. It has taken me forever to get to it, but I'm going to do it now. And it's not too late in the month and I've actually started using the products, but I did want to talk about them and show you what I'm using because I'm back on my shop, my stash rotation. And after I did the shop, my stash review. And so that's what's going on. And there's a giveaway and there is a giveaway. And I know everybody puts them at the end, but my giveaway is going to be somewhere in the middle. So I'm not going to let you just be able to like go through. You're going to have to say, because there's going to be a pause. And then there's going to be a, hey, and here's the giveaway. So if you want to see my shop, my stash, and what I'm giving away, stay tuned. All right, so welcome to shop my stash in June and um, giveaway time. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to start with primers. Now, I actually have already started because it's what, see, almost mid-month. So I've actually been using these products. I'm just showing you my stash now. I'm just laying on posting this up. So, so I already have some thoughts on some of this stuff and I will be posting it up. You know, I'll be making notes to myself to remind me what I need to talk about. Okay, so here's the first thing, primers. I'm going to be using the Milani Prime Shield. Now, a lot of this stuff, I don't know, it, it had just been lingering because I wasn't using this particular stuff. Um... Then I have the Revlon Youth Effects Fill and Blur Primer for face and neck. I have the Wet n Wild Primer, Coverall Primer that everybody loves for some reason. Then I have the uh, my Magic Collection, my Ultra Matte Primer. Some great, that's some great beauty supply stuff. Then I have these um, minis that I wanted to try because I, I noticed I had them. I was like, okay, so I could try these out without buying the big thing. So I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I hear about this all the time, so I really want to see what it's about. And then I also have this little baby Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. Now, I think they just came out with the primer stick, and I'm assuming that it rivals the milk one. So I'm curious to see what that is like. Now, the other thing is, since I'm doing this, I think before I do my Shop My Stash review, I want to go get the e.l.f. one. And I, I think there's another primer stick so I can see what's the difference between all of them from like, you know, the height because milk, you know, the milk one and other brands to see which ones are worth the money. So I think I am going to do that. I still have the milk blur stick out, uh, but it's just kind of sitting here. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Okay, so now let's do a little foundation. So foundations are... I'm going to use this Rimmel Insta Flawless. It's a skin tint. And this is like really bronzy. So it bronzes me up. And I actually, you can use it alone or under something or mix it in. I use it by itself. And then I'm going to try back using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I did, do a found I did do a review saying this is like one of the worst foundations I ever used for mature skin. However, I'm going to try it again because my skin was a little drier it was winter time maybe it'll be better with my skin being a little oilier even though we're really not having a good chicago summer so i'm not even that oily now but anyway then i'm also going to use the uh smashbox uh foundation stick stick that i have and um this renew i went i wanted a uh uh tinted moisturizer so i got the uh philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Skin Tint. So I have this in 6.5. And I have this. Now, I don't know what this is. This is called Mana Glow Illuminator. And it says it's a step three. I don't know what the hell that means. It says it's an incandescent liquid that lights up skin with all over radiance. Mixed with foundation and wear alone. So I'm going to try it and see what it is. Because maybe I could wear it underneath when I'm wearing my powder. I don't know. I don't know. If anybody's if anybody has heard of this, I know I got it in some type of subscription box. If you heard of it, let me know if you know anything about it. Next up is concealers. Now, I do have my color correctors out, but I don't really color correct that much. Every once in a while when I'm really being extra, I do. But let's talk concealers. So, I'm going back with my Naked Skin by Urban Decay. 
hitting up that age rewind y'all this is my favorite this is my favorite just in general and now i'm going back and i'm going to start using my la girl pro concealer because when i started using concealer this is the one i started with you know 2.99 at the beauty supply or however much it is at ulta love it love it love it i forgot how much i loved it i was using it the other day i was like oh child look at what i got going on here and finally this abh concealer i've been looking for it it was in the back of my drawer so I'm going to try this out. This is um, in 3.0. We'll see how it looks. Can I actually wear it? Does it actually wear well? We'll see what happens. All right. Th then powders. The powders I'm using this month. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay. So yeah, y'all getting this like first thing in the morning and I'm getting ready because I forgot to film the giveaway. So now I'm filming the giveaway right now. So what happened was I did my beauty and brunch and there was brunch and beauty, however I put it. But anyway, a few no shows and I had a, a gift bag. So I wanted to give away one of my gift bags from the event. So here's what's in the gift bag. So in the gift bag is, and here's the gift bag. Yay. 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 I'm doing this, you know, as I on the fly, um, there is, there's a, excuse how the camera looks, I don't know what's going on, I ain't got time to fix it. I have a, a, a sheet mask, because you know, everybody needs a good sheet mask in their life. These are one of my, I get them from Korea. And then there is, um, and this is what they got. And then there is um, a key, phone key ring stand, like the ones I have on my phone. And then there is, which one is this? Is this it? Okay. This is some my night oil that I make for myself. This is so this is aging gorgeously night facial oil that I make for myself that I put on every night before I go to bed. And then there is uh Dawn, which is a fragrance that I created years ago, but I've tweaked it since. And so this is a fragrance that I created. And finally, because I have these extras, I'm throwing in a pair of earrings because I have a couple, couple pairs of these. And these are some of my favorite earrings to wear in the summer. They're like this like turquoise -y. It's just a really cute pair of earrings. So, and I'm throwing in those earrings. So, that is the giveaway. And of course, I will have the giveaway information in the description box, the link for it. You can go hit that link, go in and... Uh, you know, be part of the giveaway and see ya later. Suck at this. Okay. And I'm going to do this for my um, international people is that if you win this, as opposed to trying to send this to you, because I'm just going to send you a gift card. I'll do a $25 gift card to you um, because that'll be easier and it'll be easier for you to, you know, actually use it. Um, I don't want you to have to pay customs and all that kind of stuff, depending on your country. So if you are one of my international people, you'll get a gift card. In the United States, you'll get the gift bag. I'm sorry, but I think it's just easier right now because, I, you know, it'll cost me so much to send the gift bag. And then you might have taxes and all that other shit. So let's just do it like that. Okay, bye-bye. I'm only trying to use three. I'm going to use my LA Colors Mineral um, Press Powder. I'm going to use my um, Irma Decay Finishing Powder, this Press Finishing Powder. And then this Wet n Wild Press Powder. Spoiler alert, I forgot I had it and I love it. This is... They've been saying it was good. I've had it forever. Forgot I had it. Then I start, oh, I love it. But okay, I'll talk about that in my review finally. Now let's talk bronzers. Bronzers, I'm going to be using my Master Bronze by Maybelline. I usually use the last color right here, especially. Then I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, duos, which is Turks and Caicos and Saint Lucia. Spoiler alert, one of these is not good on my skin, but I'll talk about that later. So I'm using these. And then I'm trying to use the Too Faced Chocolate uh, Soleil, which is in the medium deep matte bronzer. I think I've used it a few times. I think I do like it, but I have to remember and write my notes on it. 
blush I'm using. So I'm going to be using my blushes, my Wet n Wild blushes from the Flights of Fancy. I'm going to try to use these. Honestly, this one right here, I know. I don't, you know, it's not peachy enough. It's kind of like, it looks like a highlighter on me. So, anyway. And then I'm going to use my uh, ABH blush trio that I got in people. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see me in peachy love so i got that in peachy love and i finally pulled out my tart big buck big book of blush big book of blush say that three times fast so uh this is this year's this this season's number three so i'm going to be using these in here this is a highlighter but i really don't use it but i am going to try to like really start using these blushes because i don't really use them and i love tart blushes i mean they do have really good quality all right now finally highlighters so i got those highlighters i'm gonna be using my fenty kilowatt high whatever whatever you know these babies that i got oh i'm using these things i am using these i'm using these so they're all gonna be used this month at times then i have the rose gold the master chrome and rose gold molten rose because you you should always have a good rose gold out and I'm going to use my Essence, the newer colors, because I have the Pure Nude highlighter. But then I'm using the Sun Lighter. I'm going to try to use the Space Lighter and the Cosmo Lighter. One of these pulls green, so I don't think that's going to be used. But I'm pulling them out because I can't remember which one. I'm also going to use my Wet n Wild from the Gothographic, this loose highlighting powder. Because it's summertime and I'm going to do my show the highlighting like a good youtuber so that's what that's for and that is all of the um face products i'm not going to do my my eyeshadows because i'm doing this 30 days of eyeshadow so i'm using a lot so you'll know what i'm using all month um i will do some i probably will do a um review of some of, of a lot of the eyeshadows i use for the next 30 days only because some of them I kind of forgot about and haven't been using them as much as I should. So there you have it. All right, so that was it for my Shop My Stash this month, face products only. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're using out of your stash because I know a lot of you chicks have really large uh, makeup collection so you need to be pulling out some stuff that you just forgot about and use it so let me know what you about to shop your stash with and if you're new and you finally made it this far don't forget on your way out to hit the subscribe button because it's only the polite thing to do when you visit somebody's youtube home all right it's your lulu be bold be brave be fearless be free bye bye